subscribers welcome back to our channel team Malsisa and today's blog I am going to share to you information on how are we going to win against this coronavirus or COVID-19 and I hope that you can also help by sharing this video to your friends and to your families so we all know that the world is facing this challenge and it is very sad everyone is sacrificing but i hope that everyone is positive as well that we can stop the spread and stay healthy so the information that i am going to show and share to you guys is from the department of health of australian government so i am i am not just making this i have my reference and i wanted to use my blog to help our community to help everyone on how we can stop and win against this COVID-19. What is coronavirus? I think everyone knows. And for those who still doesn't know, I'll tell you. So coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that cause the respiratory infections. So this can range from the common cold to more serious disease. And if you have this one, the symptoms can range from mild illness to pneumonia. This virus attacks our respiratory system and it is very dangerous the symptoms the people who got this coronavirus may experience fever symptoms such as coughing sore throat and fatigue and shortness of breath yeah so we hope that everyone stay healthy there so how it spreads so the virus can spread from person to person through close contact with an infection person and then contact with droplets from the infected person's cough or sneeze. So that's why if someone said, you said, oh, excuse me, you really have to use your elbow to cover the sneeze. And then if you have tissue, use tissue and then throw that tissue straight away to the bean. Oh, it's good. It's called proper hygiene. Good hygiene of sneezing and coughing. All right. And then touching objects or surfaces like doorknobs or tables or benches that have droplets from infected person and then touching and then touching your mouth or face. So this time it is a big no, 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 no. Stop touching your face. So how are we going to protect others and stop the spread and then we stay healthy? So here in Australia, having lots, lots of restrictions in place in our system, but all we can do is really have to follow them because this is one way that we can win against this pandemic. So number one, good hygiene for coronavirus. So good hygiene. So everyone can slow the spread of COVID-19 by washing their hands frequently. Wash, 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 wash. I know I heard a lot of people that their hands are drying, including mine. <laughs> okay, but we still have to wash, wash. Some people might develop OCD. That's okay. Just frequently wash, wash your hands and covering your cough and sneeze please cover them don't just spread it no no spreading you have to use your elbow there and then use tissues and then put them straight into a bin and avoiding touching your eyes oops that's right eyes nose mouth and then cleaning regularly used objects and surfaces and ventilating home or workspace so good ventilation fresh air please 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 we really have to work on this we have to develop this practice <sighs> all right so another thing is to practice social distancing so 1.5 meters away from others yes if you can't do that you better stay at home stay 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 at home just like me i'm supposed to go for my sunshine sunshine coast holidays then explore the amusement park their beaches but because of this restric restrictions flights cancelled i am staying home 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 at first i couldn't accept it like why is this happening but as i said everyone has to sacrifice and if you want to go outside to buy your food or do exercise you have to make sure or if you go to work or school you have to make sure you have to do 1.5 meters away from others and then avoid physical greetings guys no more handshaking 
no more kissing, no more hugging, so no more of those. Another is travel at quiet times and avoid crowd and avoid public gathering. So here in Australia, we have restrictions like if you are planning to have a wedding this year, and that wedding, there are only five people. So the couple, the celebrant who's gonna do the marriage, and two witnesses. Big savings. <laughs> and if it's funerals, you're only allowed to have 10 people, 10 people and maintain social distancing. I know it's really hard, but then if we have to do this to stop and slow the spread of the virus, why not? Okay, just a little bit of sacrifice. So another thing, we can only go outside if we want to buy our food, if you want to do exercise, going out for medical appointments, or going to work if you cannot work from home. So here, most of the companies here, if their employees can work at home, if they can do their job at home, then they have to do that. Everyone is encouraged to do physical distancing. And then at work, stop shaking hands to greet others, as I mentioned a while ago. Then if you're sick, please stay at home. Don't spread death, stay at home. And then keep the numbers of carrots to a minimum. Like, that's how you're gonna do it. And even at schools, like good hygiene, teaching the children. And in every area, we have to make, I mean, make posters display posters and how good hygiene should be implemented how should everyone be reminded of the physical distancing and another why these limits are very important as i mentioned to you because this limits help to prevent the spread of the virus and they are especially important for at-risk people so the at-risk people that we are talking about is our our older people and with those with chronic conditions already so we are protecting them so if we can avoid crowd if you cannot do 1.5 please stay at home just like me i can do 1.5 but i still decided to stay at home <laughs> so non-essential gatherings non-essential means if you want to go for a gym exercise watching movies playing the amusement parks playing the playground they're all bun 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 spa massage bun 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 they are closed they're all discouraged they're all stop they all stop they're all closed now so i'm gonna show you some i'm gonna show later on i'm gonna show you short videos of how my community here in australia responded on stopping the spread of this virus like even the pubs cinemas restaurants cafes they are closed they're shut down however where they can only do takeaway but no dine-in because it encourages like gatherings so they can only do takeaway and another is that people has to do here is to understand the self-isolation so self-isolation is very important especially when you travel overseas so once like if you are a returning resident, you have to self-isolate for 14 days during, for two weeks. Like during from the past two months, they have to stay home. Now, what the government is doing, if you are a returning resident, they will have to ask you to stay in the five-star hotel to self-isolate. I can, I can really say that Australian government is really generous because accommodating the returning residents and they don't want the community to be at risk as well from them because most of the reason of this spreading of the virus are from the people who traveled overseas and having them keeping them in a hotel and isolate themselves for 14 days will help us stop the spread but i heard it's really sad sometimes personally some of those returning residents are complaining why they have to stay there they need fresh air and then some said that they're like guinea pigs. I mean, have the highest number of corona confirmed is because of the travel you had overseas. This is not just for you, it's for your families as well and for our communities. So I can really tell that this government is generous and they look after the citizens. You know why? I just mentioned to you, shops are closed, businesses are closed. So it means people people's jobs are affected but they actually don't have to worry here because the government is giving them subsidies so they are still they are still getting money even if they're not working oh my god they're still having money all right so let's have a short recap so four things that has been that i have mentioned to you to stop the spread and stay healthy one good hygiene 
next wash 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 hands there two is practice physical distancing so social distancing guys please and third is limit the gathering so non-essential gatherings are limited and what and lastly is to understand the self-isolation okay so i hope that we can stop this virus and we can win against this pandemic oh are you ready to see some of the videos that we have been doing here in our community all right so let's go i'm excited to show you the 1.5 distancing <laughs> oh this is our little playground and as i said social distancing so playgrounds are shut down it's closed so no one's allowed to play and gather here hi george oops let's go you better wash your hands when we get back home that's that is really sweet it stays safe keep smiling george <laughs> that's really great so where george is walking is our little shopping center see this place saying stop that's a barber shop it's closed Ugh. sorry we're closed what's that Zord? two people in bakery one at a time please oh What does it say, George? Stop. Yeah. See? There's social distancing. 1.5. <laughs> Just another side. What's that? Dear customers. What's in there? That's your tissue paper. <laughs> All gone. Look, me Did you get one? No. Empty shelves. Of people are that in the <laughs> old town. So, I have shown you some of the restrictions that we have been following here in our community. But, the bottom line of these restrictions is, as I mentioned to you earlier, that we have to stop the spread of virus and stay healthy. So, thank you for watching our video. I hope you learned something and I hope you can share it to your friends and to your families that with this pandemic the safest way that we can win against this COVID-19 is to stay at home proper good hygiene social distancing and self-isolation oh that was a big walk George hey George what are you gonna say to our subscribers don't forget to I just saw her. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, social distancing. Move away from me, George. Mama, no, no, no.